Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video, and today we have another budget store find. This time, it's the murder mystery case file, Truth and Deception Game, based on the true hit true crime podcast case file. Same victim, different crime. Will you solve it first? Again, it's for three to four players, ages 12 up, brought to you by Goliath Games. Same victim, different crime. Will you solve it first? Truth and Deception game. Hundreds of cases in one. It's a new game every time. With the death of Casey Parker, you and your fellow private detectives are tossed into a web of fact and fiction where you never know how the case will turn out. With different suspects, weapons, motives, and locations every time, you'll have to dust off your detective skills and keep your mind sharp every time you play. Will you willingly share our, our evidence, or do you do your best to confuse your competition as you try to be the first one to solve the case? Here's your table of contents. This is brought to you by Goliath Games. It was released in 2022. For more information, go to goliathgames.com. If you're curious about to figure out what this is about, you can scan that and get more information about the game. So, let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness is inside the box. Oh, again, this was the budget store find. Picked it up for $5.99 and 50% off. So, our instruction manual is right here. As you can tell, not many instructions whatsoever. So, again, it's for three to four players, ages 12 up, case file, truth and deception game. Here are your instructions. Need information about the, about the podcast? Click here. Are you clear, curious about what this is all about? You can just click that right there on your camera. Contents, instruction, option of the game. Be the first detective to solve the case by naming the correct suspect, weapon, motive, and location. Here's your setup. You have cards. You have suspect, weapon, motive, location, false evidence. Playing the game. During a round, asking, creating an offers, the deception die. And these are your different symbols that are on the die. Suspect symbol, weapon symbol, motive symbol, location symbol. Right to remain silent. And if you roll a star, you must reveal one piece of evidence of any type from your hand and mark it on the game board. Winning the game. At the beginning of any detective's turn, they can attempt to solve the first case. First, they must circle the suspect, weapon, motive, and location on their case tracker and announce to the group their prediction. Then they can open a confidential folder and look at the evidence cards without letting other detectives see. If they are correct, they win. The detective reveals the cards to the other detectives and the game is over. If they are incorrect, the detective tells the group where they went wrong, but does not explain what part of their prediction was incorrect. That detective is now out of the game and should close the confidential folder and replace it on the game board and add their cards to this card pile. Gameplay should continue until another detective is ready to solve the case. If all players' attempts are incorrect, the murder remains unsolved. Remar remove all evidence cards out of the confidential folder to reveal the who, what, where, and why of this crime. Again, it was released in 2022 by Goliath Games. More information, go to goliathgames.com. So there's your instruction. You've got your confidential case file. That's where you put your cards in. You've got your suspect, weapon, motive, location, brother-in-law, co-worker, clairvoyant, the ex, insurance salesman, librarian, neighbor, tattoo artist. How'd they do it? Bare hands, crystal ball, cyanide coffee, knife, pills, rat poison, revolver, or shovel. Motive, Bitcoin scandal, competitive rivalry, failed polygraph, fake identity, fraudulent accounting, inheritance, insurance payout, revenge. ADE pharmacy, or the location, the pharmacy, the cemetery, the coffee spot, the library, the Pummel hardware store, punk band tavern, saloon 99, or ink spot tattoo. There are your cards for your draw pile and your discard pile. Markers, dry erase markers for those. You have your game die again. The X, man, the star, the home, the weapon, the file. 
right there. Okay. You've got case file game. Everybody has their own board, and on the board, it tells you your brother-in-law, the co-worker, the clairvoyant, the ex, the insurance salesman, the librarian, the neighbor, the tattoo artist. Bare hands, crystal ball, cyanide, coffee, knife, pills, rat poison, revolver, shovel. You've got Bitcoin scandal, competitive rivalry, failed polygraph, fake identity, fraudulent accounting, inheritance, insurance payout, revenge. Locations, the, the tattoo parlor, the salon, the tavern, the hardware store, the library, the coffee spot, the cemetery, or the pharmacy. Again, same thing as over here. Write your notes down here, and you're trying to check it off. So everybody gets one of these. You get four of those. And you've got your deck of cards. And the great thing about, again, as I always say about finding these kinds of games at a budget store and get, you get them at a cut rate price, which is the reason why I picked them up. First off, I pay for all the stuff myself. And the second thing is, um, I love it when it's completely unused and brand new. Makes the purchase 100% worth it. So you got your deck of cards too, your case file cards. So it's kind of like a clue game if you think about it. You've got your neighbors, so everything's set up the same way. It's got a number, tells you to roll a die. When you roll a die, that's a, that's a figure you want to get. It says, if good fences make good neighbors, maybe this one should have been taller and made of concrete. There's your neighbor, the ex, coworker. Again, it has inf so all the cards are set up the same way. It has a number up here, the die you have to roll, the neighbor, all the stuff here. Okay, so you got the neighbor, the ex, the coworker. You've got the brother-in-law, insurance salesman, the librarian, the clairvoyant, the tattooer. So those are your potential suspects. So that's your suspects. And all the backs are the same. Then you have your locations. You've got the library. All set up the same way. Again, the die would tell you which card or questions you're going to ask about. In the library, the cemetery, the hardware store, the pharmacy, the tattoo parlor, the uh, tavern, the, sal uh, the salon, and the coffee spot. Right there. Then you have why, your case file here, you got here. Why did they get killed? You got the fraudulent accounting, the inheritance, the competitive rivalry, the insurance payoff, the thick, failed polygraph. Let's see what this one says. It's a two. Okay. Polygraph results aren't even allowed in court, but that doesn't stop us from forming opinions based on them. You're for revenge factor, the Bitcoin scandal, the fake identity, the rat, oh, okay. So Bitcoin scandal or the fake identity. So those are your, these are your motive for killing the person. Then you have your weapons. So you have the rat poison, you have the knife, the cyanide coffee, revolver, shovel, crystal ball, pills, and your bare hands. Ooh, so here's some false evidence, which I like this. This is false evidence. So it says, chain of evidence, discard your entire hand and drive, draw five new cards. Inter-office inter -office cooperation, switch clue trackers with another detective, play as, as your turn. All detectives, pass your entire hand of cards to the detective on your left. Steal, pick one card at random from two other detectives, two cards from one detective. Tip line, reveal a piece of evidence from your hand and mark it on the game board. And then discard the evidence and this card and draw two new cards. Sabotage all detectives. Again, pass your entire hand of cards to the detective to your right. Trade a card of your choice with the detective on your left. Trade a card of your choice with detectives on your right. Red herring. Trade with another detective's evidence card. Trade with another detective's evidence card. And the same thing again. So that's your deck of cards. So this looks to be a very, very fun game. I'm very happy that I picked it up. So this is very, very cool. 
it's kind of like Clue in a lot of ways. It's almost the exact same game, except you're not, uh, there's no board included, just a deck of cards, a couple of these things. So this is a good travel game that I think our kids, my kids will really, really enjoy. And my wife as well, because she always liked those whodunit mystery TV shows and stuff like that. So this is a perfect game to play with the kids and my wife. So anyway, this is everything that's included. And this concludes our unboxing of the game Case File, Truth and Deception Game. Same victim, different crime. Will you solve it first? Based on the hit true crime podcast, Case File. And it's for three to four players, ages 12 and up, brought to you by Goliath Games. As always, thank you so much for joining us for this unboxing video, which truly appreciate. If you enjoyed this video, you could always give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also, you could always hit that subscribe button. This way you're kept up to date as to any time we release new content to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.